Komatsu premieres ZR122 Blast Hole Drill at MIN Expo. To support customers that want to boost productivity with an advanced drill, Komatsu premiered its newest blast hole drill, the ZR122, at MIN Expo 2021. Engineered for high productivity drilling in tough rock conditions, the ZR122 drill is built to help reduce maintenance costs, support fully autonomous operation, and can be configured for rotary and hammer drilling, diesel or electric power, and single or multi-pass drilling. As part of the ongoing process to integrate its legacy brands into one Komatsu, the newest drill model and technology was showcased on the Komatsu ZR122 with the new look and branding at the booth. Designed to increase drilling time, the rack and pinion pull-down system reduces the maintenance time required to support the old cable or chain pull-down and the boxer-style mast reduces downtime for structural inspections. Floating Crane A crane vessel, crane ship, or floating crane is a ship with a crane specialized in lifting heavy loads. The largest crane vessels are used for offshore construction. Conventional monoholes are used, but the largest crane vessels are often catamaran or semi-submersible types as they have increased stability. On a shear leg crane, the crane is fixed and cannot rotate, and the vessel therefore is maneuvered to place loads. In medieval Europe, crane vessels which could be flexibly deployed in the whole port basin were introduced as early as the 14th century. 1. During the Age of Sail, the sheer hulk was used extensively as a floating crane for tasks that required heavy lift. At the time, the heaviest single components of ships were the main masts, and sheer hulks were essential for removing and replacing them, but they were also used for other purposes. Some crane vessels had engines for propulsion, others needed to be towed with a tugboat. Wurzela The world's most powerful engine enters service. The world's first 14-cylinder low-speed engine entered service on September 1, 2006 in a large, fast container vessel. Developed by Wurzela Corporation, the 14-cylinder Wurzela RT Flex 96C engine is also the world's most powerful engine with an output of 80,080 kilowatts, 108,920 brake horsepower at 102 RPM. The 14-cylinder Wurzela RT Flex 96C engine is a major breakthrough for ship propulsion. It extends the power available to suit the new generation of large container ships while combining the benefits of proven, reliable engine designs with the complete flexibility of RT Flex Common Rail technology. NASA Crawler Transporter A pair of behemoth machines called Crawler Transporters have carried the load of taking rockets and spacecraft to the launch pad for more than 50 years at NASA's Kennedy Space Center in Florida. Each the size of a baseball infield and powered by locomotive and large electrical power generator engines, the Crawler Transporters stand ready to keep up the work for the next generation of launch vehicles to lift astronauts into space. The crawlers are unique in the world, having been built in 1965 to move the massive Saturn V rocket from Kennedy's Vehicle Assembly Building to Launch Complex 39. After the moon landing and Skylab programs ended, the crawlers continued their work, taking space shuttles to their launch pads for 30 years. Three Gorges Dam, dam on the Yangtze River, Changjiang, just west of the city of Yichang in Hubei Province, China. When construction of the dam officially began in 1994, it was the largest engineering project in China. At the time of its completion in 2006, it was the largest dam structure in the world. The dam and accompanying hydroelectric plant were built in phases and over the course of many years. It reached its full generating capacity in 2012. The dam allows the navigation of ocean-going freighters and generates hydroelectric power. 
It was also intended to provide protection from floods, but efficacy on this point is unclear and has been debated. While the construction of the Three Gorges Dam was an engineering feat, it has also been fraught with controversy. Construction of the dam caused the displacement of at least 1.3 million people and the destruction of natural features and countless rare architectural and archaeological sites. The dam's reservoir is blamed for an increase in the number of landslides and earthquakes in the region. Bagger 293, previous manufacturer Tacraf generally refers to it as an excavator of the type SRS 8000. The Gyratory Crusher The Gyratory Crusher shown in figure 2.6 employs a crushing head in the form of a truncated cone mounted on a shaft, the upper end of which is held in a flexible bearing, whilst the lower end is driven eccentrically so as to describe a circle. The crushing action takes place round the hole of the cone and, since the maximum movement is at the bottom, the characteristics of the machine are similar to those of the stag crusher. As the crusher is continuous in action, the fluctuations in the stresses are smaller than in jaw crushers and the power consumption is lower. This unit has a large capacity per unit area of grinding surface, particularly if it is used to produce a small size reduction. It does not, however, take such a large size of feed as a jaw crusher, although it gives a rather finer and more uniform product. Because the capital cost is high, the crusher is suitable only where large quantities of material are to be handled. Sophisticated port technology for fast ship loading. In numerous supply chain ships are an indispensable form of transport. Every hour that a freighter is delayed in a port for too long increases the production costs. Another important productivity factor is the speedy loading of ships. It is best when the manufacturer of the port technology is able to adapt his system to the available local space and the variable sizes of the vessels, at the same time taking into account the properties of the goods to be transported. From the entire conveyor technology to the actual loading of the ships, we ensure the smooth handling of the bulk materials. Port technology for coarse and powdered bulk goods. The properties of the bulk materials to be loaded will determine the port technology used in the construction. Coarse bulk materials such as lumpy ores or clinker for cement production are loaded into the holds of a freighter with the help of conveyor belts and a vertical telescopic pipe. SLJ90032, China's Mega Bridge Building Machine. A labyrinthine network of land and sea-based transport routes is being built to connect China's booming economy with those of various African, European, and Asian countries. And the Chinese government is leaving no stone unturned to ensure that President Xi Jinping's Belt and Road Initiative, BRI, an ambitious project to connect 70 countries or two-thirds of the world's population through various land and maritime routes, is a success. Launched in 2013, the Belt and Road Initiative is an infrastructure development strategy which aims to increase trade between various countries, stimulate economic growth, and enhance regional integration. The initiative was inspired, in part, by the Silk Road established by the Han Dynasty of China over 2,000 years ago. This elaborate network of trade routes was central to the economic, political, religious, and cultural interactions between Asia and Europe from the 2nd century BCE up until the 18th century. PNH Mining Equipment Designs builds and supports a line of drilling and material handling machinery marketed under the PNH trademark and applied to minerals and energy surface mining operations worldwide. The firm is an operating subsidiary of Joy Global Incorporated. In 2017, Joy Global Incorporated was acquired by Komatsu Limited of Tokyo, Japan, and is now known as Komatsu Mining Corporation and operate as a subsidiary of Komatsu.
Mitso launches a renewed, more efficient Lokotrak LT200 HP. The Mitso Lokotrak LT200 HP mobile cone crushing plant is designed for secondary and tertiary crushing operations such as producing aggregates for railway ballast, road construction, asphalt, and concrete fractions. Thanks to its direct V-Build drive from the gearbox, the renewed solution is said by Mezzo to deliver fuel consumption savings of at least 15% compared to hydraulic-driven cone crushers. Furthermore, the LT200HP complies with European Stage V emission regulations. Fuel Consumption and while the construction of the Three Gorges Dam was an engineering feat, it has also been fraught with controversy. Construction of the dam caused the displacement of at least 1.3 million people and the destruction of natural features and countless rare architectural and archaeological sites. The dam's reservoir is blamed for an increase in the number of landslides and earthquakes in the region. Sandvik DD422i is an advanced control system based on the electrohydraulic jumbo to provide top-level performance, accuracy, and reliability for underground development drilling and small-scale tunneling. The drill rig has the widest range of automatic drilling functions to give increased productivity with reduced costs, top-level product safety, and access to the future of underground mining. Sandvik DD422i is equipped with Sandvik Intelligent Control System Architecture, SICA, that is a well-proven and commonly used control system technology across a wide range of Sandvik drill rigs. This technology enables a wide range of functions for achieving maximized performance and precision in drilling. The drill rig has features for automatic drilling and boom movements. Also comprehensive drill planning, reporting and analyzing tools along with the drill rig will help to achieve high quality results in drilling and blasting precision. Intelligent torque optimized drilling control system will help to minimize the hole dilution during drilling, reduce jammings and maximize the tool life consistently. Bell AZ 75710. The Bell AZ 75710 is an ultra class haul truck manufactured in Belarus by Bell AZ. As of 2013, it was the world's largest, highest payload capacity haul truck. The Bell AZ 75710 has a conventional two axle setup, but the wheels are doubled, one to an axle, imitating the 1950s International Pay Hauler 350. For this reason, it needs 259 80R63 tires. One, it also has four wheel drive and four wheel hydraulic steering, which is unusual. It has a turning radius of about 31M, 102 feet. Two, the 75710 is claimed to carry a 450 ton, 440 long ton, 500 short ton load. Three, with an empty weight of 360 tons, 350 long tons, 400 short tons, it is much heavier than Belize's previous largest model, the 7560, which weighed 240 tons, 240 long tons, 260 short tons, when empty. The Tyson Crane Tyson was built to install very large, up to 20,000 ton, integrated modules on top of a vessel's hull. Traditionally, offshore vessels such as drilling semi-submersibles or FPSOs were built from the ground up in modules of 1,000 to 2,000 tons, which meant that much installation, hookup and commissioning work was left to be done on board where access is limited and efficiency lower. Tyson facilitates simultaneous construction of the lower and upper parts of the vessel which allows for a shorter overall project schedule, manpower improvements of up to 2 million man-hours while safety and quality levels are improved. Guinness World Record Tyson holds the world record for heaviest weight lifted by crane, set in Yantai on April 18, 2008 at 20,133 metric tons, 44,385,667.25 pounds by lifting a barge, 
ballasted with water. The Libra 13000 in use for the first time with power boom. What does it take to install four huge jack-up legs on one of the largest installation vessels in the world? The Dutch company Mamowit uses the LR13000 for this special assignment. The crawler crane from Liebherr impresses beyond its enormous load capacities and high safety standards through a quick and easy installation. Enormous legs for Eolus. On the 140 meter long Eolus, a specialist vessel for the construction of offshore wind farms for gigantic jack-up legs must be installed. To meet this challenge, the Dutch heavy load and crane specialist Mamowit calls in the LR13000. With a maximum lifting capacity of 3,000 tons, the LR13000 is the world's most powerful conventionally designed crawler crane. For the specialist application on the Lloyd shipyard in Bremerhaven, not only enormous load capacities are required, but the work must be carried out with extreme precision. <laughs>